All right, this bank robber has been, uh, he has been very busy. He's now the subject of an all-out FBI manhunt. His name, according to authorities, is the Route 91 Bandit. That's all about the location of the banks that he's been targeting. Nick is here with more on this. Good morning again. Good morning, Adrian. The robberies, nearly a dozen of them, have happened exclusively in New England. The suspect appears to be following a pattern, targeting banks along the same roadway, hence the nickname, the Route 91 Bandit. This surveillance image offers up a pretty good view of the suspect, a prolific bank robber dubbed by the FBI as the Route 91 Bandit. That's because each of his crimes has taken place along Interstate 91, which runs from the Canadian border in Vermont to New Haven, Connecticut. The FBI believes the Route 91 bandit has hit 11 banks and credit unions in Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Connecticut since early September. His most recent heist, January 27th, at the First Federal Credit Union in Greenfield, Massachusetts. In this surveillance video from a robbery in November, he handed over a note demanding money, then herded workers into a room where he received a couple of stacks of cash before walking out. In several cases, he told bank employees he had a gun. So far, he hasn't pulled a weapon, but the FBI fears it's just a matter of time before someone gets hurt. The FBI thinks this is the getaway car, a newer model Nissan sedan. Witnesses say the Route 91 bandit is about 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 8. In most of his crimes, he's worn a hat with a hoodie and white sneakers. If you know who he is, please call the FBI. But don't approach on your own. He's considered armed and dangerous. Police are hoping that someone will recognize the man in the photo. The FBI is upping the ante to catch this guy. A $10,000 reward is being offered for a tip that leads to his arrest. All right, Nick, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.